In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Wish You Were Here by Incubus off of their album, Morning View. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and I teach aspiring guitar players like you how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Today we have Wish You Were Here by Incubus. Comment down below if Morning View is your favorite Incubus album. And let's dive in. The intro riff is gonna use a clean guitar sound and we're gonna play these chords. The first chord is gonna be an A power chord, but we're gonna add the pinky on the fourth fret of the third string, which turns it into an A suspended second. From here, we'll move our index finger to basically play an E power chord but we're gonna keep that pinky down on the fourth fret of the third string. So we start on that A suspended second, and then move to that E power chord, keep the pinky down. Then we'll move to a B chord with the F sharp in the bass. So that's second fret, sixth string, second fret, fifth string, fourth fret, fourth string. So, so far the chords that we have from here, we'll slide that same chord shape up to the fifth fret. So, so far we have this. And then we'll slide back down to the second chord in that progression, which is that E with the pinky on the fourth fret of the third. And then we'll start repeating that sequence. Same opening chord, same second chord, but now we'll go to a regular F sharp power chord. Okay, so the first time through we were playing a B with an F sharp bass. Now we're playing just a regular F power chord, F sharp power chord. Then we'll slide that up to the fifth fret and then back down to the second chord in the sequence. And the right hand will be playing this kind of rhythm. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Let's combine the chords with the right hand and we'll play it slow. And you'll notice that when we repeat the sequence, I bring my thumb up to mute the sixth string. So we have this. Here I bring my thumb up to mute that sixth string. If I don't bring my thumb up there, it rings out and it sounds muddy. So I bring my thumb up to mute that string and then play that A suspended second, that first chord. There's also an added octave swipe at the very end of the intro sequence that sounds like this. It's just the seventh fret of the fifth string. And since we're gonna be octave swiping, we include the ninth fret of the third. And he just slides it up to the ninth fret. So let's play the whole sequence together. Mm -hmm. 
it's a pretty quick jump from this chord all the way up to the seventh fret to do that octave swipe. But keep practicing, you'll get it. One more time through that sequence, full speed. So we'll play four bars of that intro riff, and then we'll play the exact same riff again, just with gain. Now we're into the verse. The verse is gonna have quite a bit of reverb and delay on the guitar, and we're gonna be single note picking here. So we're gonna start with our middle finger on the ninth fret of the third string, and our index finger on the seventh fret of the second. We're gonna alternate between them. And then what we're gonna do is reach down with our pinky. You can pick your index finger up at this point. Reach down to the 11th fret on the fourth string with your pinky. So we have this. Okay, then we're gonna have our index finger on the ninth fret of the fourth. So we'll hit that, then we're gonna hit an open second string. It's the same note. Just gives it a ringing effect. Then we'll hammer on 9th fret of the 4th to the 11th. Then we move our index finger to the 9th fret of the 3rd. Then we play the 12th fret of the 1st string with the pinky. We lay our index finger flat so we can play the 9th fret of the 2nd string and then the ninth fret of the third, and then that little sequence will end with the middle finger on the 10th fret of the second string. So let's go through that whole part slow. Now we'll repeat the first half of that verse again So everything's the same there. Everything's the same up to that point. Now instead of reaching up with your pinky to the 12th fret, what we'll do now is just lay your index finger flat, play the 9th fret of the 2nd string, then the 9th fret of the 3rd, reach down with your ring finger, to the 11th fret of the 4th. Then you'll lay the ring finger flat so you can play the 11th fret of the 3rd. And then you'll play the 9th fret of the 3rd with your 1st finger. And then the verse riff is complete. Let's piece the whole part together. One more time, normal speed. And now we're into the chorus. The chorus is gonna be the exact same part as the intro, just with distortion. You can leave the octave swipes out here. So we can leave those octave swipes out, the 11th fret sliding up to the 9th, because it's not very prominent in the chorus. And then what we'll do is we'll play a second verse and a second chorus, 
and then we go into the breakdown. The breakdown is just gonna be octave swiping starting at the fourth fret of the fifth string. And we'll slide up to the seventh and then down to the fifth. And the right hand rhythm is gonna be pretty much identical to what we've been playing. Fourth fret up to seven, then immediately down to five. At this point, we slide up to the tenth, and then back down to the fourth, and then up to the tenth a little sooner to finish the breakdown. So let's play through the breakdown in full, slow. Coming out of the breakdown, we play the main riff with a clean guitar sound again. Up to those octave swipes. And then we kick on the distortion to play the last chorus. Is Mike Einzinger the most underrated guitar player of the last 20 years? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do, in fact, have souls.